I am so out of focus, but I have to show you the tree with the lights. Now I'm going to turn the light on. There we go. Um, oh, you are not focusing, are you? Oh, it doesn't like it. Oh, anyway. So, we are small but perfectly formed this year. I thought I would show you my gorgeous tree and my favourite ornament of all time which is my little jazz fairy i've had her well actually my family has had her for a little over probably about 20 years we're well, probably longer than that actually it's probably about 25 years and she is she actually is in really great shape she's cardboard and then i don't know whether we bought her or whether we anyway um this year's christmas tree is small it's real though we haven't had a real Christmas tree in a long time. Um, we, so, I really don't want to show you the mess that is my lounge, but we used to have the Christmas tree in this corner. And then this arrived, which is my messy desk. <laughs> um, so we have a six foot artificial tree, which, uh, yeah, that wasn't going to work really, was it? So um, Chris and I decided that instead of trying to shoehorn it in somewhere else, we would go and buy a little tree and put it on our coffee table um, and just make do. So um, the thing that had to go on there was my, my jazz fairy. So she's on there with her saxophone. We've got um, the baubles that we had from our wedding. So these are, they're really cheap actually. They're, they're just silver baubles that we bought really cheaply in a big pack or actually three big packs. And then we got this, um, now can I show you this? ribbon which says Chris and Sophie 23rd of December 20, 2006 uh, so we got married two days before Christmas it wasn't actually intentional to start with when we um, bought uh, when we booked it but uh, what we did was wait there we go Chris and Sophie 23rd of December uh, is we decided we were going to do favours of baubles because it was Christmas so uh, so we got these cheap baubles everyone they were their place everyone's place setting as well and what's really nice is I get pictures still eight years on we'll we'll celebrate our eighth anniversary in next week um and I still get pictures from my friends who came to the wedding of our bauble on their tree so everyone got it as a as a um a place setting so it had uh their names attached on a little label uh and then they uh they had it as their favor as well so quite a lot of the couples that came still had well, that wasn't helpful. <laughs> anyway, I'm at a better angle now. So it's on the coffee table. It's still got the plastic wrap around it. I need to do something about that this weekend. We only got it on Saturday from a fabulous place called the Appleton Christmas Barn. So if anyone's in the Oxfordshire area, um, go to the Appleton Christmas Barn. It's basically the guys who own a farm, I think, who they own a Christmas tree farm and they own a reindeer called Tiny Tim. And they basically just take over one of their barns every year and turn it into a Christmas paradise. It's fab. It's really good. Anyway, um, the other baubles that I've got are, again, just really cheap, lovely silver ones. Um, my wedding decorations were silver, white and blue. So we kind of went that with that for the rest of our Christmas decorations. Now, because we haven't used, so you'll see down the side there is the rest of the tub of stuff. Because we haven't used them, um, what I did, and again, pattern the mercy messy thing um is i actually attach some to some wool and put them on the fireplace and then we also have a string of silver beads that come in the pack that i've just just kind of shoved over over our mirror um there's our wedding photo with my tiara on there anyway uh so i thought that was quite a nice little extra bit to to use some of the baubles i'll try and find another place for them pan quick pan um so yeah so that's my christmas tree it's pretty and I like it with the with the twinkly lights. Well, they're not twinkling right now, but yeah. Um, I do have another pack of Christmas lights that I need to think about where I'm going to put them. I might put them along the edge. We rarely open these curtains in the winter, um, even in the daytime, because we're not in the house. So um, I might just put them along the top of the curtain rail. But I will make a decision and then you may see later. Right, guys, that's all from me. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.